G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. I've made compound chocolate, I've made white chocolate, and I've made dark chocolate. But there's only one left and everyone keeps on asking me for it, so here it is. So join me today as I make my version of milk chocolate. Okay, so to start off with, I have a pot on the stove. Now it's on a high simmer. So on top of the pot, we're gonna place a clean and dry bowl. Make sure it's dry on the inside, otherwise it's gonna ruin the chocolate. So we're going to start off with our main ingredient and that's our cocoa butter. Don't get this confused with normal butter, they're nothing alike. Now you should be able to find this at good health food stores. If not, just Google it, I'm sure you'll find it around. So into our bowl, we're gonna place in our cocoa butter. I'll leave a list of the ingredients down below and how much you need to use. And using a metal spoon, just so there's no moisture, just turn these, just stir them, just until it's completely melted. And also as a hint, just make sure that the bottom of the bowl is not touching the water, otherwise you can burn the chocolate. Now that the cocoa butter is melted, we're gonna add in our cocoa powder, just regular cocoa powder. And we're just gonna stir that through until it's completely dissolved. Once that has been dissolved, we're gonna add a very small pinch of salt. And what the salt does, it just helps enhance the chocolate flavor. Next, we're going to add in our milk powder. Now, you might be asking, can we just use regular liquid milk? Unfortunately, you have to use the powdered milk. And honestly, that is how chocolate is actually made. So stir that through again. Okay, once that's been stirred through, finally, we're going to add in our icing sugar. Now, if you don't have icing sugar, check out my how-to playlist where I show you how to make it. And finally, we're going to stir that through. Now, with all the ingredients, before you place it into a mold, just give it a quick taste just so it's to your liking. If not, you can add more cocoa or more icing sugar or whatever you like, just until it's to your liking. Okay, so as you can see, this is looking lovely. Now it's just about completely dissolved. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this off the heat. We're gonna let it cool down for five minutes and then we're gonna place it into our mold. Now that our milk chocolate has cooled down, I'm going to use a mold. Now I use this same one for the dark chocolate as you'd remember. So we're just gonna use that. You can find these a lot of craft shops, party shops. So with our cooled down chocolate, we're just gonna pour that into the mold. And doesn't that look, look lovely? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this in the fridge and we're gonna let it set for about two hours. Okay, so I've just taken it out of the fridge. Now, as you can see, I also filled up the other two molds because I had extra left over. But let's just take one out. Take it all out. And there we have it, and look at that. Lovely, lovely milk chocolates. So this was incredibly easy to make, and the best part is, it's homemade. So, let's give one a try. Oh, yummy. Nothing, nothing beats a good piece of chocolate. I'll tell you what, this tastes exactly like milk chocolate. And you know why? Because it is. And you can also experiment with the taste if you want to add more cocoa or even more cocoa butter. So you really can change it to your liking. But no matter how you change it, this homemade milk chocolate tastes simply delish. So give it a go and don't forget to put a photo up on my Facebook page so that you can show it off to everyone else because I know it'll be fantastic. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, the ingredients are listed down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter and Home Handy Hints channel. Please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.